um, this this group of linemen rolling in here and and what they bring and all these guys offensively I think uh, will add on well because uh, we got most everybody back you know just losing really putting them up front from a starter standpoint and we got seven guys back that have started and won games for us so um, excited about the group and uh, the mix that we'll have there uh, defensively. Um, and 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 uh, who's counted in this is our kicker nine mid years, uh, fourteen total guys there, uh, two DNs Darian Mayo and Adam Kasai. These both these dudes are six seven. Uh, I mean just absolute giants uh, when you see them. Uh, Mayo was a kid that we recruited really hard for a long time. Knew a lot about him. He's up there at Good Council with Coach uh, Stefanelli, and um, a school we got a lot of respect for. They do a tremendous job there. Uh, obviously, Dorian O'Daniel came out of there. But, man, Darian is a high-level player. Uh, he's a guy that's got, a, I think, a bright future, had a great year this year. And then Adam Kasai was a kid that was committed to another school. You know, and he, he's a neat story. You know, he shows up at our camp, and not only did he come, he came for three days. And I'll never forget taking the picture with him at the Rock. He told me at the Rock, you know, was, I mean, you know, I look at him when he comes in, and, and uh, he said he was coming to get a scholarship offer to Clemson. And, and I said, well, okay, well, well I'm going to be here every day, so we'll see what happens. And, uh, and you know, he was here for three days. You know, he, he's playing the game. I mean, he didn't miss anything. And uh, he really won us over uh, in camp. I mean, he's got long-range potential in that, you know, the kid was a quarterback. He's played tight end, you know, and they kind of move him to DN late. Uh, so he's kind of a late-blooming guy. But you, he's got what you can't coach. Uh, he can really run. Uh, he can bend. He's athletic. But he's 6'7". He's and I have no idea how big this guy's going to be, but, but I'm really excited about uh, his, his potential and what he brings. Uh, he's a perfect guy to come in with this class with, with the current roster that we have. So um, can't wait to get him going. He's a mid-year, uh, and he'll be here, and, and, and he's going to need it because it's going to be fun to watch him uh, develop between now and August. And then Darian will come in in the summer. Um, but Adam's from uh, Heritage High School down in Florida, Coach Mikhail uh, uh, Benson, and then uh, D Tackle. Uh, we got Heaven Brown, uh, Schuler, and Champ Thompson, two, two of my favorite kids that I've ever recruited. Uh, just, two, just two great, great uh, families and just, just great kids uh, in the whole recruiting process that, I, that I've been a part of. Heaven is from Pace Academy with Coach Nick uh, uh, Bach, and, and uh, Champ is from Gainesville High School from one of my old uh, Alabama teammates and Coach Josh Niblett, longtime Hoover coach over there at Gainesville now. But, uh, last guy we got out of Gainesville was pretty good. Uh, so uh, I'm excited about Champ coming in here. And uh, that's two pretty good names, Heaven and Champ. Uh, that's, that's, that's two pretty good names there for, for the D tackles. And just, again, just glad to have them be a part of it. Champ's already here uh, and, and started practice. And Heaven will join us this summer. But uh, these are two big, strong, athletic, uh, dynamic players and with big personalities. and. Um, you know, just so much more than football players. I mean, they're elite players, but it's two great young men. And then at linebacker, uh, man, it really came together well. This was a position we, we considered maybe taking a portal guy if, um, if uh, Barrett had left. But with Barrett coming back, you know, we, we had Sammy, we had Woodass. Uh, so we needed another guy. And with Barrett coming back, you know, we, we really wanted to take another high school kid. And, and I'm going to tell you, man, this, this – uh, this Kuba Taylor guy, and he's, he's just an example of, of what the portal's doing to high school recruiting, honestly. Um, you know, a few years ago, this had been a kid we wouldn't have been able to get. He would have been committed to, you know, somewhere already. Uh, this guy is, you know, a really, really good player. He's got great size and length, and he's, and he's a guy that's gotten better every year. Um, and what he did this year, you know, he was at a small school, then he transferred into good counsel. And what he's done this year, this kid played really, really well. And uh, we think he's, he's got a lot of great days ahead of him. So excited about just who he is. He was really just the perfect fit for us. Uh, so, you know, he came in this past weekend and, and uh, you know, wanted to be a Tiger and just excited about him and his family. Crazy thing, too, his, his uncle uh, uh, lives in uh, uh, Greenville and, and went, to, went to school here at Clemson. So, you know, really just, you know, neat family. And, uh, you know, good fit for us. Sammy Brown from Jefferson High School. Coach Travis Nolan, um, he's a mid-year. 
Drew Woodass from Jesuit, uh, Coach Matt Thompson, he will not be. Uh, and then Kuba Taylor, you know, he's, he's uh, Mayo's teammate with Coach Stefanelli up there. He's not a mid-year as well. So Sammy's the, the one mid-year. And, you know, uh, everybody knows a lot about Sammy Brown, you know, from Jefferson High School there with Coach Travis Nolan. Um, you know, unbelievable program. And this is a kid that we've really recruited since, you know, he was a kid. He, we were recruiting him before we even knew we were recruiting him. He's been coming to the youth camp. Uh, great story there. His mom's got a video of me, I guess, when he was a little kid, fifth grade, sixth grade, I don't know, but he even left his book bag or something. So, you know, we, we, try, to, we try to help them guys have a little responsibility. And so we had to come up, whose book bag? And some little kid shows up, and, all right, well, you got 10 up downs, you know, one, two, you know, get your book bag back. And his mom's got that on video. So um, uh, that, that's pretty cool. You know, you never know who you're coaching out here in these camps. And this kid turns into – you know, the best linebacker in, 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 uh, in high school football. Now, obviously won the high school uh, uh, Buckus Award, which is really, really cool. Uh, so just just super excited about Sammy. I mean, he's a dude. We all know that. This guy's a powerlifting champ, a wrestling champ. Uh, you know, it, it rushes the ball. He never comes off the field hardly and, and just unbelievable family. His dad is, is one of the – Mike is one of the coaches there. And so just – Super excited to finally get started with him uh, and, and uh, to plug him in. And I think it's a blessing that Barrett is back and he's got a chance to, to really have a guy like Barrett Carter to, um, uh, you know, mentor with for over this next year. I think it'll be very beneficial to him. And same thing with Drew Woodass. I mean, y'all all, I mean, this Woodass family, this is a, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a tough family. And uh, man, these, these, Got a sister that plays college athletics. Um, she might be the toughest one in the family. And now you got, you know, obviously Wade and and, and now Drew. Um, they say Drew's the best athlete of all of them. We will see uh, when he gets here. No pressure, Drew. Uh, but we just we're really excited. I mean, you know, um, just another great addition to to that room. And you know, proud of the job that that Wes has done and putting it together the way he wants to put it together. And uh, with the, with the intangibles and the and the the uh, uh, you know, just uh, different abilities that he has in the room for the positions that we need to be played there. So, great group. Corners, we got Tavoy Fagan, Corey Gibson, and Ashton Hampton. Tavoy is Carrollwood Day School. Uh, Coach Marshall McDuffie. And uh, unbelievable school down there in, in Tampa, Florida. Uh, great coaching, great preparation. Uh, Tavoy is a mid-year. Uh, I actually coached his dad. His dad played for me at Alabama, Michael Fagan. So, you know, again, just that's what this game does. It's, it's about relationships. But he is, a, he is a great player. He's got length. He's got, uh, you know, great um, technique at this stage of his career, his technique, his fundamentals, his knowledge of the game. You know, he's very advanced when it comes to all that stuff. Uh, and he's dynamic. I mean, he's a returner. He does a little bit of everything. Uh, so just super excited about Tavoy and, uh, again, him being able to get on in here and get started. And then Corey and Gibson, uh, uh, Lancaster High School, uh, Coach Leon Paul, uh, had a chance to go out there. Man, what a great school, uh, great coach. I mean, it's, it's easy to see going out there and spending some time with Coach Paul why Corian was drawn to Clemson. Uh, it's really easy to see. And uh, so this is a kid, same thing, could have gone anywhere he wanted to go. Uh, he, he, did, he did have an injury this year, but he's doing very, very well with his rehab on that. Uh, he'll be coming in mid-year and just a long, uh, competitive, fast, you know, uh, athlete on, the, on that back end that can do a lot of things. This kid can play anywhere in the secondary, uh, great length at corner. So I'm just really, really excited. The thing I love about him, he's got a mindset. He really has the, the mentality that you want to see early on, too. So. I just think we've knocked it out of the park with those two guys. And then uh, Ashton Hampton from uh, Florida State University School, Coach Jared Hickman. Uh, his dad is a college head coach. His dad, you know, this is a kid that's been around this his whole life. Uh, I mean, as you know, you can't ever have a guy more prepared than Ashton Hampton. And I would say the same thing about him. And that's why, you know, Coach Reed, same thing I just said about Wes. What a great job he's done in putting the group together putting the room together with all the, the different things you look for, especially in today's offensive football. Uh, Ashton, uh, those of you who've seen him, he can do anything. 
I mean, this guy, this guy, I mean, he is, he is long. I mean, like a giant uh, and can play corner. He can play nickel. He can play strong. He can play free. You can play him. I mean, he is a, he's a freaky type of athlete. But, again, just really, really advanced from a football standpoint. He's player of the year down there. I mean, he's a great basketball player. Um, there's really nothing he can't do. Very, very smart kid. So, I mean, it, it would be hard to find three better guys that really fit what we need uh, than these three. You know, just everything, all the intangibles. And it's easy to see, again, why they chose Clemson. And uh, we're just really excited about what they're bringing here and can't wait to get started with them. Uh, Ashton will get here uh, this summer. And then at safety, we took uh, Noah Dixon, Ricardo Jones, and Joe Wilkinson. Uh, Noah's been committed quite a while. He's from down there at Troop County. Uh, to Coach uh, Glisson, what a great job he does down there with that program. Uh, Noah's, you know, he just made, I think they do one, one you know, all-state team with all seven classifications. And, you know, you, you see Noah Dixon on there. I mean, this kid's a, a baller. Uh, he's a track guy. He's a big physical kid. Uh, he is unbelievable, just maturity, high character. Uh, his mom is amazing. Uh, he's, he comes from uh, – he's got a bunch of siblings. They've all been to college. They've all – I mean, they're doctors and all kind of – I mean, it's amazing, um, you know, what, what his mom's been able to do and raising all of them. And, and uh, this kid, Noah, Noah has is, is, uh, got a bright future, you know. So, same thing, uh, can do a lot of things. And he's a guy that, that will be a mid-year, uh, so he'll be here. Ricardo Jones, same thing. You think about Ricardo Jones, man, you better. These last two guys, uh, him and Joe 